I get, I, I do get it as a player. You know, I've, 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 I've had the same feelings and emotions as a player. You know, you get towards the end of a season, you've, you've done your job, you feel like you've achieved what you've got to achieve. But the reality is, you know, there's other players in that squad that are chomping at the bit to play. You know, I've given that 11 players the opportunity tonight, and we've been beaten. So, you know, ultimately, you know, do I approach Saturday in a different light, thinking, well, you know, two or three tonight seem like they were content with their season and on their holidays already. Whereas I've got I've got some really young players at the football club that excite me, um, and I think the champion's a bit ready to play. But the defending was really really sloppy tonight, and I think we we almost forgot the basics, um, the errors. You know, crept, crept back in. I think it, at the back was the defenders prepared to put the put the put the next on the line. Probably not this evening. And I've just said to the lads in there, you know, I actually felt really sorry for Ainsley Pears tonight because he's a very good goalkeeper and he wasn't protected at all. Um, 4-2, disappointing. I mean, I'll take the positives thinking, well, their goal has made a couple of good saves. And Harvey Sauna's got the score sheet, which I was I was delighted for him. Um, but we huffed and puffed. Um, wasn't good enough on the night. And so hopefully we can have a positive reaction on, on Saturday. Um, I think we'll take a healthy crowd with us. And say, I'd like to I'd like to cheer him up again off the back of tonight. Nevertheless, Dallow still going to finish around about mid-table when you consider that there was a home game last year when Craig was actually in the bottom three at the start of play following an early kickoff. So it, it's still been a, a decent season from your point of view, but it could have been better. Could have been a bit better, yeah. You know, I think we've we knew that there was that possibility of the playoffs. Have we really had a, a proper crack at it? I don't. I don't think so. I, I think we could have. We could have hit it a little bit harder and probably and probably really attacked it a little bit more. But ultimately, we achieved what we what we set out to achieve. I said to you that I didn't feel like it was like a bit of a pat on the back for me in terms of that because it's not it's not an achievement. But in the grand scheme of things, re- retaining the level, um, as stupid as that sounds, uh, is an achievement off the back of where we were. Um, it's all about next season for me, and I have said that. You know, I do. I am looking forward to to the summer now, um, getting the excitement back ready for pre-season and really attacking obviously next season. Nevertheless, there were some good individual performances, and Joe Wheatley almost got the winner there. Yeah, uh, almost got a third goal rather. Yeah, Wheats. <laughs> I don't think he's going to score a goal. I genuinely don't think he's going to score a goal. He he's playing out his skin at the minute. I think so. I think we, Weeks has got a lot to look forward to. He's obviously going away with England, and then he's and then he's got his Jamie Vardy. So um, Weeks has had a great a great second half of the season. I think he's been different class, um, and I still think he's in third, maybe fourth gear. So I still think there's a lot more to come from that lad. Um, ben Hanlon. I thought I thought uh, Sean all night. I don't think he thought put a. A foot wrong. Um, he got into some great attacking positions tonight, and I think once he starts adding goals to his game as well, um, I think I think he'll be the complete all-round fullback. So there's food for thought not only for Saturday but also for during the summer. There's food for thought for Saturday first. Um, in terms of the summer, you know, my phone's going to be busy, and I expect it to, and I want it to be. Um, I don't think I need a lot. At the same time. I, I think I know I want to approach, so I think I know where we're, we're a bit light and where I want to improve, and um, I want to take. Well, I want to be honest, but I want to. I want to start really well next year. You know, I think the summer, I want to get people excited um, to come back and watch us in July. I think we've got some great pre-season games uh, lined up, and I want to add a couple if I can um, in the right areas to to get people back for the door.